pot of money that the governor's asking us to cut is really state funding only. The resources to fund this particular facility would come from a variety of other sources, not from state funding. We would look at revenue bonds, we'd look at potential uh, student fees in terms of a building cost, uh, user fee. I mean, you and I use this cafeteria, workforce development uses the cafeteria, so there would be additional costs that we could utilize to generate the revenue to fund this facility. So we want to be very clear that there are two separate sources of money, state funding for state activity for instruction and those academic things that we do on our campus, and then you have auxiliary monies that we have to fund activities such as this here in this cafeteria, and, and that's how we split them apart. We have to look at them separately because in this budget cutting time, it's the state money that's being cut, not necessarily the auxiliaries, because auxiliaries generate their own revenue. In, in, our, in our part of the world, and, and many colleges do this too, they have revenue bonds. Basically you say you need X amount of money, you go out and sell the bonds on the open market, and right now the, it, the interest rate is pretty doggone good. I mean, it's, very, very, it's a very good time to look at this. It's not coming from state funding, it's coming from users such as, such as ourselves.